Hi guys, it's been about a year, just over a year since I've done my first video, or last video in fact. Um, I should really start with an apology. Um, back in September the guys over at Omnishave sent me this little package here. Um, I have actually been using this and trialling and playing around with it uh, for about the last three and a half, four months. But um, I thought to do the video justice I needed to sit down and give it some proper time and I thought at the same time I'd do a bit of a evolution of the balding man if you like where I started from where I've come and where this fits in with everything else so if I go back to the beginning a little bit and we'll come back to this in uh, a moment so when I first started cutting down my hair because I was starting to lose it I started out very much with something like this uh, does a fairly decent job um, it cuts hair but it's not the shortest takes the uh, grade one it does the job um, use this for a long time I've had this for years still still does the same job cuts hair um, then trying to get it shorter I played around with using beard trimmers um, this to be fair does a very good job on the face doesn't do too bad on the head um, but uh, it's still not as close as a wet shave uh, and as I got braver and bolder with it all I was trying to look uh, at where to go next um, <clears throat> And I did toy around with using things like uh, my safety razor. So this is my favourite safety razor. I still love using this on my face. I've tried a couple of times on my head uh, and it looked like um, I'd had an accident with a lawnmower. So it wasn't horrific, but it wasn't the nicest shaving experience. Um, it put me off wet shaving for quite a bit and wasn't that keen on going elsewhere. I do have sat in my collection a real nice old Solingen steel uh, <clears throat> cutthroat razor. I haven't plucked up the courage to use that on my head uh, because I think it may look like Edward Scissorhands has done my haircut. Blind and drunk. I've also got a Japanese cutthroat with a changeable blade. I've played around with this on my face and stuff. It's sharp but again I wouldn't want to do it to my own head <laughs> if I'm honest so that kind of brought me up to where I made some of my last videos regarding hair cutting so I got approached must be 18 months two years back by Philips when they were looking for people to trial in the UK their uh, one blade I have to say it's a fantastic bit of kit I have been using this on my face uh, since I bought it about a year and a half ago and since I did the videos for Philips 18 months two years ago uh, and on my head it works incredibly well the only downside I found is that the blades are expensive and when cutting your head uh, with it it's it blunts them out quite quickly and at £10 a pop it's not the cheapest way of cutting your hair it does get closer than anything else I've put in front of you so far it has been until recently the best thing I've wet shaved my head with that is until John over at Omnishave sent me this. So I was contacted by email, wanted to see if I wanted to try something out, and he sent me one of his prototypes. And this is it here. This is his Omnishave. So this is the Omnishave blade here. Now I've been using this two, three times a week for three months. These are still the original blades in them. They are starting to dull out now. I need to go and uh, wait and see when they're releasing the original new version and purchase one myself. But the prototype one has seen me through four months worth of use uh, on the same blades. Now, when I saw this, I was a little bit skeptical um, <coughs> that I could A, wet shave my head without cutting myself to smithereens and B, uh, how good a job it would actually do. So John challenged me to see if I could shave my head in a minute. It's taken me a bit of time to practice that and one of the reasons the video has been so late is that I'm a bit of a perfectionist and it's taken me a while to get used to it, um, to do it at speed. But there's a video of me in a bit which I'll add on to this that shows me uh, doing it in, I think, <laughs> he's dead on a minute. Um, I'm not quite under. But uh, you can tell this is the prototype. It's 3D printed. It's a really nice piece. See if I can zoom in a little bit for you guys. There we go. Um, 
but the uh, the ones that come out uh, to purchase soon will be a different build quality but I have to say even the, the prototype has been outstanding in build quality um, <clears throat> so yes I've been using this and I have to say now when it comes to shaving my head if I had to pick between one of these two the Omni shave wins out every time um, I cannot find anything that cuts as quickly and as closely to my head as neatly and as well as the OmniShave does and in the three months that I've used it I have not nicked, cut or bled out once with it it has not uh, damaged my head in any way um, it has been an absolute dream to use um, I can use it in the shower, I can use it at the sink uh, it has been uh, the best prototype I've ever played around with at the moment so I'm not sponsored by OmniShaves, I'm not um, supported by them, this was a test prototype sent out for me to have a play around with um, I'm still going to keep my Phillips One blade but it will mostly do my face from now on um, and I'll still keep my wet shave blade uh, as it is one of my favourite things to do, shaving with a wet blade uh, but that's kind of it the other electrical bits that I've got really are if I've left it too long now and I need to take off the main growth and it will be uh, these three things that are filling up my cabinet now so uh, I'll show you the video uh, and uh, I hope you enjoy it definitely check it out when it comes out I think uh, go to the OmniShave website and um, see what it's all about